hello so this lighting is very intense wow i'm going to be crocheting in this video i love to crochet i haven't been crocheting that long only the last like few months i started in february so it's my first fall of knowing how to crochet and i'm just excited to make some cute little fall sweaters and just stuff in general and that's kind of the point of this video crocheting my fall wardrobe but anyway i'm just gonna like go into like some of the stuff that i love wearing in the fall and things that I just associate with fall and like autumn and then yeah just making them I guess <laughs> things that I love to wear in fall is like sweaters and jackets vests because it's very transitional weather um, maxi skirts like I don't know I just love fall and uh, so good I love layering so like anything that I can layer with love um, I'm thinking of making a sweater uh, just like a neutral like brown white cream sweater I don't know if I'm gonna make it with big yarn or small yarn because I have yarn for both. And if it's small yarn, this video might not be out until next year. I'm just kidding, it just takes a long time with small yarn. Um, but I think I might do big yarn. And then I think I'm also gonna make a cute little granny square vest and it's gonna like tie right here. And then I also have started wear or working on a skirt a few months ago. And I think I'm gonna try to finish it. And I think those are three of the things I want to make. If I think of anything else, I will let you know. But yeah, that's my ideas right now. <laughs> With the skirt though, I really am taking inspiration from Aiko's and bleh, because she's been making, she made a green one and I'm working on a green one right now, but not the same, but she made a green one a few months ago and she just made like a brown one and I am just so obsessed. And so I'm gonna try to like do the similar length, but I'm not gonna do all the tears and stuff. That's gonna take way too long. But yeah, I finished probably this much of it. It's not fun at all because one row takes so long and. Anyway, I'm gonna try to finish it though, because I've literally started that one in June, and it's October, so <laughs> we'll work on that one and hopefully finish that. But yeah, that's my plan. That's the fun little ideas that I have, and now hopefully I will show you guys how I'm making them. I did just make my brother a granny square cardigan a few months ago, and I haven't really been wanting to do another granny square project since, because it's it takes a lot. But I started making these granny squares. I made three so far. So it's gonna be like a vest. I'm gonna show you. Basically, I'm doing a regular granny square like tutorial pattern that I saw on YouTube a few months ago. I'm just doing one color and then I do three rows of a different color. I'm using white and green, obviously. And then I go back to the green and back to the white. So I'm just making it mostly white and with a little pop of green, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah. It's really, really easy to do. I'm not really doing a tutorial. I'm kind of just showing you guys my process, if that makes sense. I just feel like there's tutorials for everything I'm making already, and I'm just not the best or like qualified enough to explain that. I'll let you know how many I make once I'm done, I guess. I always tend to underestimate things. <laughs> like my will to live. I finished my nine granny squares, and now I'm putting them together. Here's three of them together. Um, it's gonna be the back panel, so I'm gonna show you how I do that, I guess. I have my darning needle, I think that's what it's called, and I just attached the yarn. I did like two square knots, basically a double knot to attach it, and then I'm going through just the back loops, so you can see how there's two loops. You can't really see because it's white, but loop one, loop two, I'm just gonna go through the back loops. So the loops like closest and farthest to me, I guess. Go through back loop one, and then the back loop on the other side, like that. And just keep going back and forth. So, back loop, back loop, back loop, back loop so you're just attaching it to the corresponding back loops of each and then it ends up being like a seamless join if that makes sense just want to make sure it's tied at the end and then once you get to the end you're just going to again double knot it and then weave in the two ends and that's basically it okay i finished the back panel anyway so now i'm gonna do i think two for the side and then it's gonna end right here, and then I'm gonna need to do two, and then maybe two more small ones. And then I'll do like a 
decrease stitch right there. Let me mention, the yarn is all secondhand. I got it at the thrift store. I don't know if I have showed you yet. It's been a few days since I've worked on it, but here's the back panel. It'll be good, muy bueno. So very exciting. I will show you the rest of the process. I really, really like the colors, like the green and the white. Super, super cute. The green is definitely a vibe. And then the whitish cream color as well. I'm in love. My outfit today is cute as well. I'm wearing my platform Oxford Doc Martens with my cute little socks. <laughs> but yeah, bueno. I finished making all these squares. So in total, I made nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 big squares, including these nine, as well as four half squares. So these have three rows instead of six. And these I'm going to put like that. It's something like that, and then I'm gonna do some just granny stitches, like right there, if that makes sense. Our kitchen flooded and they had to pull out all the tiles, so that's why it's so, so unbelievably loud. Apologies. Sorry about that last clip. It's very, very loud in the kitchen, but I did finish the shirt today, um, or I guess last night. I wore it today, and I, I love it. It's very cute. Um, basically, how I ended it up, I, I don't even know. I just did some like decreases stitches, and I did one green and then two rows of white up until right here. And then I like slip stitched. This side I messed up a little bit and so there's like a weird gap. Don't even ask me how that happened because it's hard to explain and I don't really want to get into it. But then for around the side, I did some stitches right here just to even it out. And then I went around one more time with the green because I had run out of the cream color at this point. I really wish I did have more of the cream color and I would have gone around in the cream, but I did not have enough for that and I didn't. There are like thrifted yarns and it would be really easy to match a color because it's just cream. So I don't know, I was just lazy, I guess, but yeah, very cute. And then I just added a little tie. I just did a chain on the stitch like three down. I was gonna do the top one, but then I just thought it looked kind of funny and I think it looks better. I do think I would like it better if it was more like this, but I'm fine with that part there. So anyway, very, Lovely, very cute. I do like it a lot, but yeah Now I'm working on a skirt And I hope you guys don't count this as cheating because I did start this in June And then I just kind of like left it in my bucket adding like rows on here and there But let me tell you making a skirt is so so awful. You don't understand. I made this ribbing in June um, When I was in Italy on the flight and on like trains and stuff, I just made the ribbing and I didn't try it on at all because I was in public. So I made it way too big. So the skirt's already gonna be huge, but I'll just add um, an elastic in at the end. Basically, I'm just gonna be adding a bunch and a bunch of rows to it, but I'll tell you how I started it so that if you wanted to do the same thing, you could. Um, for the ribbing, there's two sides, this side, which looks like ribbing and this side, which doesn't look as pretty so we use this side as the front <laughs> and i made it by trying to remember i don't know how many rows i did because i kind of just freehand everything chained eight and then i went back and slip stitched through the eight and then i single crocheted so and i alternated each row so it was like 
a row of slip stitches, a row of single crochets, a row of slip stitches, single crochets, si well, yeah, you know, you get it. So that's what I did. I have since learned that you could do um, half double crochets in the back loops only, and it should give you pretty similar. Um, but that's, I did this, and it's very stretchy. And of course, since it's like also crochet, it stretches more. So it's really big, definitely way too big. So this first row is just around increase two in each stitch up here and then increase two more into these stitches so it's already like tripled and then i increased like once every other stitch so i just like gradually like stopped increasing so i did like all the increases at the very beginning and then i just stopped increasing increased from like here down to like here and then i think i took a break for like three rows and then increased like one every like five and then, yeah, I kind of just increase randomly, but right now I'm too lazy to increase anymore. So I think I'm probably just going to go straight down the whole way because it's already really poofy. Um, I think I increased too much because it's, it takes me like 20 minutes just to do one row and it's just so time consuming, but I am very excited for it and it's going to be very cute. It's just going to take me like a year and it's going to be a long skirt. So this is just kind of what I do and I just want to sit and listen to my book in peace. <laughs> I am currently listening to How Bent. Well, I haven't started it yet. I finished Ninth House yesterday and I did thoroughly enjoy it. I do love Darlington. He's, he's a great character and I also like Alex as a character. I'm gonna listen to that for a little bit and hopefully get two more rows done. I don't know. Last night I got three rows done and it took so, so long, but and since I'm doing, oh, also I'm doing all these in half double crochets, which it would have been smarter to do like double crochets, but I wanted it to be more tight so there wouldn't be as any holes. Um, so I've been doing half double crochets and I'm just using scrap yarn of random greens that I have from like um, the fabric thrift store that I go to. I get a lot of my yarn there. And then I had a lot of green yarn for my brother's green cardigan that I made and I just really like green. So I just have a lot of green yarn in general. So that's kind of the vibe. Lots of green scrap yarns. So yeah, then I'm just gonna do that for a little bit. Our next row is gonna be this dark green color because I haven't done a dark green row in a little while. It's been like four or five rows. <laughs> Last time you were updated was on Thursday and it's Sunday. Um, since then, this was where I was at. So in the last like couple days, I've made actually quite a bit of progress. Um, I've added like, like four inches, which is actually, quite a lot. This takes me so, so long. And I finished the book Hellbent literally an hour ago, and now I don't know really what else to listen to, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so if anyone has any recommendations, let me know. I'm waiting for The Curse for True Love to come out because I really, really liked um, the first two books of that, and since that's the third book, it's coming out in like a week, so should be fun. <laughs> I'm very excited for it because the Ballad of Never After left me on the biggest cliffhanger. I started making the vest that I just made two weeks ago today because I started on a Sunday and it's Sunday. Now we'll see when I even get to finishing this skirt. It will, it'll be a while and then I'm gonna make the sweater. But here's what it's looking like so far. Lots of length added to it actually but it's still not long at all. Like it still doesn't really go, it doesn't even go to my knees. Like it's gonna take a minute. And I think once I get lower, I'm gonna convert to some rows of being double crochets because it'll not take as long because it'll add more length. I just don't want the top of it to be like having holes in it and be like slightly see-through because I didn't want to have to wear something under it, you know? So yeah, we'll, we'll see what it looks like once it's done. I'm running out of green yarn, like, this takes up so much more yarn than you'd expect. It's so big. <laughs> so last time I updated was last Sunday, because today is Sunday, so it was a week ago. And I, I think was right here. So I've added that much, which is quite a lot, but yeah, the skirt's getting pretty long. It is past my knees now, but I want it to be another like four inches long. I did up here switch from, I think this white was my first row of double crochets, 
and it's just gone by so much faster. I might honestly switch to treble crochets. So this has taken me an absurd amount of time. In the last week and a half while working on this, I've listened to Ninth House, Hellbent, uh, The Book of Night, and I watched the entire <laughs> first season of Vampire Academy on Peacock. But I liked Ninth House better than Hellbent for sure. Darlington is just different than what I thought he was gonna be. I liked the idea of him. You love the idea of me! You love being seen with me, but you don't love me! Well, at the beginning, he reminded me of Richard Campbell Gansey III from Raven Boys, and I was super excited because I love Gansey but he just didn't, I don't know, he's not the same. But because of that, now I just got the audiobook for Raven Boys again, and I'm going to reread that. Yeah, I did just start doing treble crochets with this row. I just want to get this done at this point, because I still have to make that sweater, and it's taking a long, long time. I am literally running out of yarn. Like, I don't know what else to use at this point. Like, I, my green yarn is literally out. I have like, very small amounts of things left like this i have a couple balls of these this was like a really big thing and then i got tangled so i had to untangle it and it took hours to untangle but i made a bunch of little balls like this of that but besides that i don't have anything so i don't know how i'm gonna make these next four inches and then once it's done i'm gonna add the elastic so that it fits correctly oh no. something i love in books is when it mentions like crochet or knit or something and this could be so niche, but like, I listen to books so often when I crochet, and I'm so surprised by the amount of times that crochet is mentioned in books. When I first started crocheting, I was listening to um, the Throne of Glass series, and in one of the books, it just mentioned like, yarn or knitting or something, I can't remember. But since then, there's been so often that it's mentioned, like in um, Ninth House that I just read, um, her friend wore like a crochet shirt all the time. In Raven Boys, it's been mentioned a few times because blue is just so like eccentric and weird. Or it mentioned that she knitted gloves and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then it mentioned that she was wearing a dress and one of the panels was like crocheted green and it's crazy because I'm doing green crochet right now. And I was just, um, got to the part where she's in a car and, um, one of the characters mentions that she's wearing a crochet cardigan and it's been brought up a couple times and like, I don't know, I just love when there's crochet in books. That's just so random and I don't know, it's just something that I notice now. But like, do you guys still listen to books and then notice that as well or is that just me? I'm doing a lot of treble crochet rows. I got this yarn at the thrift store and it's like green for the first two layers but it's like tied together. So it's someone's scrap yarn so they made it to a cake so I'm gonna use it until the green is out. And then I have all these like different scrap yarn greenish colors these are the literal last things on my green besides this which i'm gonna do for one of the rows and i just used this for one of the rows but it's like a bluish green so some of it is like blue and then i have my white but that's literally the all the green i have left in my collection so anyway i'm almost done hopefully i'm just gonna make this row and then a row with white and then a row with this, and then another row with like this color, and then I think that'll be it. And then I'll just add the elastic, hopefully. was way too big and I added an elastic but that didn't really do anything so then I like threaded through some ribbon and now I can just like tie it as tight as I want to tie it so and I could have the bow on the outside or I can tuck it in so you don't see it inside doesn't look all that amazing but you can see the plastic and then the ribbon that's threaded through and then I tried to hide it it's only visible for one stitch when it's cinched, you can't really tell. So the ribbon is hidden. So I finished the skirt. Um, I started this sweater today. I did make it too big, but I wanted it to be oversized anyway. Well, I chained 120. It's gonna be a big oversized sweater, but that's okay. We're chilling with that. 
we are chilling like a villain. I'm gonna do three rows of white, three rows of a, of a brown color, and then three more rows of white with double crochet. And then I'm just gonna like change the brown every time, I guess. And I'm just making like a rectangle for the front panel, and then I'm gonna shape the neck a little bit. Same for the back panel, and then two rectangles for the sleeves. And you could follow, um, there's a really good tutorial on crochet emily crochet emily i don't know how it is but she has a good tutorial and it's basically what i'm doing i'm not really following the pattern but it's the same idea so yeah i have crocheted this really long it's definitely huge a little too big but that's okay we love cozy sweaters in the fall but i've just crocheted just like this much so far. I'm debating should I do a different brown after the next cream or should I just go back to this and just alternate with these two. I'm thinking of doing that right now and I'll just have this like would be the color scheme. I've worked on it less than three hours so it's kind of going kind of quick compared to the skirt for sure. That skirt was the death of me. Hopefully we'll be done with this in a couple days. I'm very excited about the color scheme of it. It is kind of crunchy feeling, not crunchy, but like these kind of yarns, because they're all acrylic, they kind of are like crusty, like very rough. So they're not soft at all, but I do really like it. It's also really stiff. I don't know if that's just because that's how it is or I just have really tight tension, <laughs> but I didn't want there to be a ton of holes. So I'm okay with that, but I will block it to like kind of loosen up the fibers and stuff. But yeah, that's the vibe. I have got the front panel almost done and I'm about to do the decreases for the neck, like the collar. Um, so I fold it in half, found the middle piece and then counted out until it's the size that I want it and then I you can do stitch markers but I just use yarn and then once I stitch up to that point I'm just gonna make a couple decreases yeah I I would watch that tutorial that I showed earlier they are much better at explaining it I showed it to my dad yesterday and he said that it looks like 70s vibes and my mom said it reminds her of chocolate with dark chocolate milk chocolate and white chocolate but um, it's going to be here. You can see the length. <clears throat> anyway, it's like kind of going to be a little bit cropped, but I'm also going to add some ribbing. So it's going to be a little longer um, and it's going to be huge. But yeah, I started with this color and I'm ending with this color. And then I think I'm going to make the ribbing in this dark brown um, around the collar and and probably the sleeves and the bottom but hopefully we have enough of this yarn. I don't know if I have more. I'll check and if not, I can go back to the fabric and yarn at the thrift store because they, there's so much brown there. I feel like no one buys the brown except me. So I started this on Tuesday and it is Friday. So it has been a couple days. I a chemistry test today and I did very good. I only missed one question, so I got a 96 and that's the best score I've ever gotten on any chemistry test. I don't know about high school, but in college for sure. It made me very euphoric and happy. So yeah, now I just feel like a genius and I, my ego has been boosted and I need to bring it back down a level. I've, I've had a great day. It's amazing. Got this really cute skirt at the thrift store. It's pleated. I've been loving pleated skirts lately, and it's vintage, of course. And it's so good. I love brown, and it's just not just the wardrobe. <laughs> How lovely. I was running out of the whitish cream yarn and the dark brown yarn. Um, so I went to the fabric and yarn at thrift store, and I found some of the brown and white. They're not exact, but I think they're close enough. So we're just gonna go with that. I'm just gonna try to get that finished up now. So that's good. And I have a couple hours. I also got some really fun little fabrics at the thrift store. So I'm gonna be making some dresses in the next coming little time. And I have this really pretty green quilted fabric that I'm gonna make a jacket. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna get on with making the back panel of the sweater. And then I'll do the sleeves and we're done, finally. So hopefully that can be soon, but yeah. So I finished the front and the back panel. They are not sewn together on the sides, but they're sewn together at the top. And I definitely think the neck is like too wide 
and too low. So I'm definitely gonna be adding a couple inches of ribbing um, so that it's more like that. I'm very happy with the color. So I'm just gonna add the sleeves. Honestly, it shouldn't take too much longer. Me when I lied to myself. I don't know why I thought that <laughs> this project was gonna take not very long. I was like, oh yeah, I just gotta finish the skirt and then my sweater will be done in like a day. No, nope. it's been like five days now. <laughs> more than five days it's been it's been a week and a day no i didn't work on it every day but that's how long it's been also i ran out of this cream several times i ran out of it the first time and then i went and bought some that looked similar but it's still different i don't know where it is though and i don't feel like finding it but then i ran out of that so now i'm using this color which is lighter than this color. It's not like super noticeable, but yeah. I'm almost done with the first sleeve and then I just have to finish the second sleeve and then just do the ribbing and that's literally it. So I made the neckline come in more by just adding a slip stitch around each stitch. So now it's not as like falling off the shoulders and stuff. But I'm gonna add a few rows of ribbing and to do that, I already made one of the cuffs. This is like the size it's gonna be. And then I'm gonna attach it to the cuff so it's gonna like cinch in. So that's gonna be exciting, but I'm just gonna add that up here as well. But this was 10 rows and I think I'm just gonna do five rows for the neck ribbing. Um, but how I did it was just 10 rows and then a half double crochet in the back loops only for each row and then this is how it came out. And then you just do it for as long as you want it to be to fit over your wrist. I just made it a little bit bigger than my wrist. And yeah, now I'm just gonna finish up all the ribbing. I'm gonna do the ribbing for here, like attached onto the actual sweater though. So I don't have to like attach it later. I'm just gonna attach it to the slip stitch. I'm so close to being done. Right now I'm just attaching the ribbing to the bottom. And then I just have to weave in the ends after that. But I've gotten more than half of the bottom ribbing. <sighs> but I have the biggest headache and I'm just so tired and yeah, so yeah, I've been working on this for almost two weeks now because I started it oop, on Halloween and it is the 10th of November. I really love this sweater and let me just tell you, so I started making the vest on October 1st and it's now November 12th so that tells you a little something about how long it took and yeah it it took forever much longer than I thought so that's why you're seeing this fall video in November instead of September or October when it should have been released. That's everything I made for the video so I definitely like it. There is still so many ends to weave in, but we're gonna ignore that for now. That's a project for another day. So yeah, here's the sweater. And that's it.